People want a good city. They want higher standards, better delivery of services. What gives Singapore the edge is that we can test out new things quickly and we can test out new things effectively. My research is focused uh, in Asia simply because this is the context where the most challenging and unprecedented problems and issues of urbanization is likely to take place. For a city, it's actually made up of an interrelated system of different components or uh, urban processes, so to speak. So in order to unpack all these different kinds of urban processes and how they interact with each other, we need to have better variables, which data sources or new data sources uh, can help us in this regard. We're very lucky in the 21st century, we have all this technology, that technology produces new kinds of data sets and new kinds of methods. How can we blend these two visions, the, the human living in the city and the city thriving by means of digital technologies and big data? People come to cities, choose to stay there and choose not to leave because they think that this is a place where either economically or socially they can create a better life for themselves or the people that they care about. So it's of tremendous implication that we think about the economic side of things, the social side of things. And the big story now, of course, is how digital technologies are changing our economies and our societies. For us to determine how we can continue to keep cities as a place that people want to be in and they want to be there for the long term to reinvest in their own communities. The city isn't just the physical aspects uh, that are easily identifiable, again like transport systems or, or buildings and, and condos and malls, but it's this other aspect that is related to all of that and it's sort of that there's people living in these places that you design or that you plan for um, or that you analyze. And I think fundamentally that's really, really important is that there's this human element um, and we're in a relationship with these things that you build. So really what we need to do is to understand how to evolve uh, with the city and to understand how practices evolve within cities, which means that we need to know different processes of empowerment, autonomously driven change, and improvisation. Now here in SUTD, through your cohorts, you are talking to different people. And I think that's extremely valuable, gives you a flexible mind, teaches you to ask basic questions, and this is what everyone needs to be equipped with to deal with a very uncertain and unpredictable, disrupted world. So our students will really be vested with the best of SUTD's interdisciplinary environments in the sense that they will be well apprised of urban planning and urban theory insights. But at the same time, they will also be well trained in um, analytics skills. Increasingly, our societies are generating a great deal of data and this data is very valuable for helping us to plan urban spaces in such a way that they cater to an improved quality of life. Oh,